Oh, absolutely beautiful this morning. God is, God is already here and he's already working wonders. And uh, I'm just in awe of what, of what God is doing right now. He is moving. And thank you, Daniel, for that um, scripture. That's one of my favorite scriptures <laughs> because it's got grace in it. <laughs> my God, it says here, um, 2 Corinthians 12, verse, verse um, 9. But he said to me, my grace is sufficient for you. I'm not talking about Grace Brown. I'm talking about the grace of God. He said, my grace is sufficient for you. This is what it says in the Amplified. My loving kindness and my mercy is more than enough more than enough always available this grace is never running out it's always available regardless of the situation my power is being perfected and completed and shows itself most effectively in your weaknesses Therefore, I will all the more gladly boast in my weaknesses so that the power of Christ might, may completely enfold me and dwell in me. So when Rachel was giving her testimony, Rachel, you went all the way to Guy's Hospital. Do you guys know how far that is? That's all the way up in London. She went and God's grace kicked in. God's power kicked in. You could have never have done this in your own strength or in your own ability. That was God's grace saying, I am here for you. And I'm more than enough. I've got more than enough grace that's sufficient to keep you. And he said, his grace is made perfect in our weaknesses. So anytime we feel like we can't make it, we can't, we feel like we, we, we can't make one other step, the grace of God, that's when it kicks in. It says, don't worry, ah, my grace is more than enough. It's my loving kindness and my tender mercies is more than enough and sufficient. And it's, it said it's always available, always regardless of the situation so you know we're just gonna we're just gonna we're just gonna pray for Rachel right now because today's her, her, her day where she's gonna receive the news and I want us all to unmute because we're gonna have a corporate prayer we're standing with you Rachel we, we this testimony has touched my heart it has touched my heart God is speaking to Rachel from the very first day when she had her operation uh, the, the power of three and each time she sees three, three times better, three geese, three people interviewing, interviewing her. God, God is just confirming, saying, don't worry, it's more than enough. God is speaking. So I want us to unmute and just pray it for Rachel right now. We are standing with you, we're holding your hand, we're, we're holding you up in prayer and we're holding you before the throne of God. We're lifting you up and say, God's grace is, has already been manifested in you. And, Amen. God, and God helped you through that interview. Half an hour interview took over an hour. And, <laughs> glory to God. God's grace has uh, been multiplied to you. Been multiplied yes, to you. More than multiplied to you. So we're just going to lift up Rachel right now. I just feel a, a, an excitement in my spirit for Rachel. Oh, ah, this is amazing, Hallelujah. amazing, amazing. The, and she got to what she even she didn't expect three Thank people. You, she didn't expect the test, but God sustained her through it all. And <laughs> through all, she, uh, she, that's God's grace, God's grace. So we're going to lift up um, Rachel right now. God. 
Hallelujah. Everybody, if you can unmute. Praise, everybody. If, you're not, if, you, if you can't unmute, just pray for Rachel. Just pray that God's praise. grace and mercy com completely to be multiplied to her. Daily, that she will get our news today about oh, that God. job. That pray. job that's, uh, oh, that's already hers. Uh, we pray divine faith. Hallelujah. Right To proceed all Hallelujah. imperfections, all imperfections. Jesus, Lord, man. there is no imperfections in your design. And Lord God, we pray that she will see your wonder working hand. Signs and wonders will fall before her, and she'll be in receipt of news. But whatever the news will be, she will still.
still keep the same Rachel, oh, the new yeah, Rachel, yeah. the new creature in Rachel, to stand forward, step forward, and she will go from strength to strength. Yeah. This, this is the beginning of a miracle, Lord. Miracle, she, thank she, you. She, miracle she's work and power. Her her own she's proclaimed her thank own you. testimony. She's proclaimed her own riches, her own difference, her own brilliance. I pray, Lord God, that yeah. listen to her proclaiming, oh Father, and honor her request in prayer. I pray, Lord God, <laughs> leaps Lord. and bounds, I pray. Yes, that Lord. That flies over yes, the Lord. Lord. Every, every, <laughs> not so part her bus. She will not get off the bus in the, the, the valley of the shadow of death. She will sail through and everything the enemy tries to grab onto her will not yield anything because it's off. A living visual of a miracle that you are performing through her, that each one of us can get revelation in our own personal circle. I say, move on, walk on, dear sister Rachel, that you are going to go from leaps and bounds, that this is the beginning of a new change in you. And we are Thank proud you, of Thank we you, are Lord. Thank to God that we Thank get to see it. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Yes. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Glory. Oh, glory to God. Oh, my Thank gosh. You, oh, my gosh. Thank you, guys. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, all right. So today we have got uh, our, our, our wonderful um, Heather that's going to be speaking to us. Um, and Keith, if you can, if, <laughs> if you just, if you can just play a, a worship song for us before we introduce our, our lovely Heather, and uh, we will, uh, we will invite her. Um, Okay, Keith, if you can do that. Here, yeah, she's just arrived, but I'll just give her time. Um, Keith, if you can just do that, and then we'll introduce Heather. If you got two hands, I want you to clap all over this sanctuary. We're going to glorify God and the beauty of holiness in this room. Father, we glorify your name because you are exalted above the heavens, and we lift your name because great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. And if you know you serve a great God, will you take a few moments and tell Name is Jesus. Oh, glory to God. We thank you for that worship. Oh, we was really enjoying that. God bless you, uh, Keith, and for being inspired. And I know uh, that, that reminded me of Heather, actually. I don't know if she requested that. <laughs> it reminded me yes. of Heather. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I know Heather's style. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. A glory to God. Oh wow. wow, wow. Amen. Uh, without further ado, I'm going to put on our lovely Heather this morning because she's been waiting and she's like, been, she's been, she, I know she has to go to work. So, and I know that she's, uh, she's ready to, uh, to share with us. So I want you to show us some love, love everyone. Show our Heather some love this morning. God bless you. You know how we do with our love hearts. <laughs> welcome, Heather. <laughs> welcome, 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 welcome. Your Hi, good, mo good morning. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that time of uh, worship. Yes. And um, I'm not going to be before you long. I might not be able to finish um, because we normally have, I'm working from home today. So, by 9.30, I have to jump off and switch laptops and because we have team meetings at 9.30. So I, I know the worship was a little long, but it it, it really blessed my uh, our spirit. And I just wanted to share it with you. Um, I was spoiled for choices. Uh, this These worship team, I stumbled on them and it, it was just awesome time uh, of worship. Um, okay. My little bit devotion, as I said, I might not finish it. It's probably just a time of worship this morning um, that I wanted to get into. So we'll see. It's subject to the leading of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. So I might start. Somebody might need to finish. I don't know. But um, the inspiration for my devotion this morning, uh, I think it's about two weeks now. I think since... Um, Junie did that uh, Friday morning uh, devotion, and he was speaking about 
uh, he was speaking about obedience, but <laughs> he used the scripture, Second Kings 13, verse 21. He started off with that scripture and he just said a little thing about it. He didn't really go into depth on it. He didn't really expound on it. So that jumped out to me uh, in the devotion that morning. And um, uh, the devotion was very good. And um, you know, everybody as usual put their hands up and they wanted to say something. So I was waiting to speak, but because of time and I was still working, um, I couldn't hang on. So I didn't get to, I just wanted to share that that bit jumped out to me and I didn't get the chance to share at the time, but not knowing that I'm, I'm gonna be speaking on the same uh, scripture because that scripture literally arrested me in my home for about four days. I was, I was laughing, I was laughing so much. I was on the stairs. I was laughing. It just arrested me. And I said, okay, um, the Lord probably just allowed him to share that verse because it just jumped in my spirit. And um, the Lord what was, you know, wanted me to probably build on it. Um, so it's 2 Kings 13, verse 21. And um, I don't really have a particular topic. You could say season signs, wonders, miracles, you know, if 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 you want the theme. But the, the verse reads, and it came to pass as they were burying a man, they saw a a bandit. Every Bible has it different. They saw a bandit of men or raiders, and they cast the body into the tomb of Elijah. And when the man was let down and touched the bones of Elisha, he revived and stood on his feet. So I started to um, literally visualize uh, something like that happening, like for real, because it's not like it's a story that you make up or you see in something in a movie, you know? it actually happened in, in, in for real. And I'm like, can you imagine the, the shock on these people's face when they, they saw that this man was brought back to life? And we understand that uh, Elisha was a prophet and um, he was the successor of Elish, Elijah. And, um, he also received the double portion of the anointing from Elijah. So at this time, I believe he, he did a lot of miracles. Uh, he raised people from the dead. He raised this lady's uh, son. Um, he laid on top of the boy. The boy was dead. He laid on top of him, uh, brought him back to life. Uh, he's known for people coming back to life without even laying hands on him. He was very, very uh, powerful. He was the same prophet that went to the woman's home and all she had was the oil in her jar. And, um, you know, he, he did a lot of exploits, but in this text, he was dead. So we know from the Old Testament, that the, how the Lord spoke with this, it dealt with this prophet then, they had what was called uh, mantles or like a cloak. The anointing rested on them, you know, like a mantle or the, the cloak of the anointing. So whenever they spoke, because they walked in that particular office, what, what, whatever they spoke uh, at that time, the Lord just moved. Whatever they decreed or declared or, or said, the Lord just moved and acted on their behalf. But in this situation, he was dead. We've got two dead people here. We've got the dead person that these people were carrying to bury. And we have, we've got a dead prophet. Uh, uh, it was also told in the scriptures that 
as much as he's done so many miracles, he died. The, he died the sick man. He died. But <laughs> but yet still, by virtue of another dead person touching his bones, now he must have been probably buried. There for a year, his sepulchre was left open. But this man uh, touched his bones and he revived and he came back to life. So it was very powerful and it, it literally arrested me. And sometimes when the anointing comes on me, I, 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 I go into laughing, you know? Um, so I, I was like saying, God, you're, 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 you're in our terms, we would say, God, you're, you're good, bad, or you're bad, you know, like to, to be able to, to do that. So there was a lot of things, I, a revelation I was getting from this. Um, it was depicting the resurrection power of Christ. And um, there's a bit in the Bible that says that, um, obviously, we know in the New Testament, the Holy Spirit descended. And we now can receive the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit dwells in us. And the Bible says that it, it shall quicken our mortal body, you know? And it is the same resurrection power, that the same power that raised Christ from the dead, it dwells in us, yeah? So Amen. understanding who we are, whose we are, and just how powerful that uh, anointing and that uh, power of the Holy Spirit, what it, what it is uh, capable of um, doing. Um, okay, I don't want to run ahead of myself here. Then um, I'm going to keep coming back to this bit because I want to maybe paint a picture in your head. Um, we know of the prophet uh, Ezekiel. Ezekiel had a vision. I think it's, uh, I wrote the scripture down, Ezekiel 37. Most of you know it, 1 verse 10. He had a vision. We heard, we, it's not the first time we're hearing about bones, dry bones, stuff like that. He had a vision of the valley of the dry bones. And the Lord took him away in the vision and uh, he saw these dry bones and the, you know, the Lord said, ask him about these dry bones. And he said, surely, Lord, you know. And the Lord said to him to speak to these dry bones. And he spoke to the bones and the bones received life, you know, and joint to joint. And, you know, they, they connected and they, they, they came to life. So it's not the first time we're hearing about bones. So I've got another scripture here. Um, John 14, verse 12, it says, most assuredly, I say unto you, he who believes in me, uh, the works that I do, he will do also. And whatever you ask in my name, I will do. And if you ask anything in my name, I will do it. Yeah. And we also have Romans 8, verse 11. But if the same spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, uh, and he, uh, something who, I haven't got my glasses on, Christ, okay, he raised Christ from the dead, will also give life to your mortal body through his spirit that dwells in you. And um, we also know that before the foundation of the world, God knew us. He knew us uh, in, in the spirit, yeah? And um, God is a spirit. And he says in the scripture, John 4, 4, verse 24, they that worship him must worship in spirit and in truth. So Amen. for me, the must there is a command that it's a prerequisite of us as believers that in order to experience the fullness of God, we have to 
worship him from two places. We have to worship him from the, in the spirit because he's a spirit. And we have to worship him in spirit and in truth because the truth is in knowing who he is. We, we, we can't effectively worship God unless we have a knowledge for ourselves of who he is who he represents to us. And uh, we, we, we can't really, uh, what's the word? Um, have a true gratification of for somebody or a true praise or for something or somebody if we have no knowledge about. We have to worship him from, from that place. But sometimes, we find ourselves in a situation where we, I wouldn't say that we are dead, because you know when you're dead, it's, you, you cannot carry yourself. It's, it's, it, you become a weight and you become a burden to, to somebody else when you're dead. Even at your own funeral, you, you absolutely you can't do nothing. You can't help yourself. Someone has to carry you, right? So, that's with worship sometimes. The worship is meant to take us into that uh, place. Remember back in the scriptures, the priests, they used to go in on our behalf. They used to go in and they used to uh, bring our sacrifices and offering to the Lord. They used to go into the holies of holies, but um, God has done away with that now and we can come to him for ourselves. But sometimes we have, you know, uh, so many things coming up against us. It's literally weigh us down. And sometimes we uh, become dormant in, in, in the things that we should really be doing in terms of our, our Christian walk. And sometimes we need someone to carry us, you know, to take us to, to that place. Because that man, he, he, he was being carried to be buried. And these men saw a, a bandit of thieves. Now you're you're in a can you imagine you're in a funeral yard and you're there to bury someone and you, you see a bandit of thieves and you run and leave the body and just throw the body somewhere else. You understand? So if he can be healed and revived back to life, just say them by accident. It was an accident. They didn't know where they throw him, they just throw him somewhere. And it was an accident. But yet, by virtue of that accident, he was revived back to life. What mm. say us who have a relationship with God and we know who God is, we can go to him for ourselves. What say us? So what I'm trying to say is that our situation is, it might look dormant to us, it might look dead to us, but in the resurrection power of Christ, is within us, you know? So however we need to, to get to that place, sometimes we get to a place in worship and we just leave it there and so, you know, okay, it was a nice worship uh, session. But when you get into that place of uh, worship, you don't worry about the problems and the things, they, they don't weigh you down, they're not on your mind, you're not even thinking about them because when you're in the presence of the Lord, you don't really have time to think about everything that's weighing you down. It, it is of no importance. Yes. You know? So what we want to see is the, the, the manifestation. The Bible says, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it, as, as it is in heaven. So if we enter into the presence of God, if entered into the realms of the spirit in the presence of God, we have had an experience in the presence of God. We are supposed to see the manifestation of what we have experienced in the, pres in the presence of the Lord in our natural, in, in the earth. We're supposed to Amen. see the manifestation of, because we can never go in the presence of God and leave the same. No. Oh, yes. There's no way you can enter the presence of God and come out the same right but you might not see uh the evidence of all the changes um uh, straight away and these are the last days that we're living in and god is moving in a 
peculiar way with the church at the moment, removing, is moving in signs and wonders. So but sometimes we find ourselves in a place where we have to be carried. There is a, another bit in the scripture where um, this man was being carried and he was let down through the roof. He was let down through the roof by some friends because they heard that Jesus was in town and he was let down through the roof uh, to, be, to be healed. There is another thing that stood out in the scripture verse. When they let the man down into the grave of uh, Elisha, he touched the bones of Elisha. Now, Elisha didn't just die three days ago. He probably died for maybe six months, a year. Now, if he died, his spirit would have already left his body. Yeah? So it's nothing but the, the fleshly part returned to the earth. and There was nothing but bones left there. So what power would there be in the bones of Elisha after being uh, dead for so long? You know, if you think about it. So, but because he was a servant of God, because he was a mouthpiece, a, a prophet of God, it, it wasn't really Elisha doing anything. It was God. It was a resurrection power of God because they, they, they threw the man away and they leave him for dead. For dead. You know, sometimes people just give up on you and say, there's nothing. They don't, they, sometimes they don't even have a clue. Sometimes you yourself don't even have a clue who you are or, 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 or what the, the purpose God has for you. And sometimes, you know, people write you off and say, you know, nothing good can come out of you, you know, and, and, and leave you one sign, but a, a pity. If they did just turn the other page, just turn the, the next page, they see the next chapter of what God has says about you. So it just goes to show that the Bible says that that his uh, word will not return to him void. So if he has spoken something concerning you, concerning your ministry, it cannot return to God void. It has to accomplish that which he said it, it must accomplish. So even in the dead state, you could be dead, but it might not be a physical death. It could be a spiritual death. It could be mentally, you're bound in your mind because you're trying to work things out and you're thinking, okay, there's nothing good can come. Every time you try, you knock on this door, it closes. You knock on this door, it closes. But God is saying, greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Okay. Now, God, if God wasn't concerned about you knowing who he is, he wouldn't have asked his disciples, who do men say that I am? And the, his disciple answered him and said, um, you, you know, you are the Christ, the son uh, of the living God. He wouldn't ask him, who do men say that I am? So he actually wants us to get to know him. We're not going to know all on here on the platform this morning. We're not going to all have the same experience with God. But we should at this point have a knowledge or a perception of who God is is to us even in our own lives to who god is to us and you know be able to build that build from that place of knowledge and it, it should be able to expand and grow so even that little knowledge of who god is is enough for god to work wonders and miracles uh in in, in our lives so i i just want to encourage you this morning and you know, the Bible says we need to renew our minds uh, daily, you know? So when we come together like this and we pray every morning, we are encouraging each other. We, we are actually carrying each other. We might not, phys we, we can't see it physically. So there was a song I had in mind that I wanted to, to share as well. It was saying, somebody prayed for me. I know some of you know the song. They had me on their mind. They took the time to pray for me. I'm so glad they prayed. I'm so glad they prayed. I'm so glad they prayed for me. They pray, praying for you, they're actually carrying you in the spirit because maybe 
what you're going through at the moment, you're not strong enough to carry yourself or you're not strong enough to bear that on your own. So they pray for you. You know, my mother prayed for me. The ministers pray for me. The pastors pray for me. You know, I had that song in my spirit as well, but I didn't want to bombard it with too many songs because, you know, sometimes you get so stirred up, you know. But put it uh, for an example on Sunday, I'm going to share a little um, testimony. So that's my bit on the talking. I think I ticked on uh, everything I wanted to say. Yeah. So where that is concerned. So maybe somebody else can pick up and expand, expand on it. Yeah. Um, I, about two weeks ago, because I'm watching the time as well. About two weeks ago, I had a dream that um, the army came to my house. Army officials, they were dressed in their army clothes and everything. And they were in a truck and they stood outside and they had a, Thing that looked like a, a meter, like a survey, and they put it on the pavement outside my house, and it had a red dot in the middle of the meter, meter and the, the timer and the needle was, you know, going back to forth. And one of the soldiers came out, and he stood in front of my house. His back was turned to my house, and he stood, you know, like the standing guard, and then the truck just pull up a bit more to the curb, and some of them sat in the vehicle. So I was like, okay. Next thing I see, they pull the meter up on the pavement and pull it up so it, it extended. And it was like up to the window because I live on the top. So up to the window. So I didn't think I knew anything of it. I'm just curiously watching, you know, it's a dream. Then I saw the soldiers. Now they didn't ring my doorbell. They didn't knock on the door for me to go downstairs and open the door. They just came in my house and they came in groups of twos, but it's almost like they were on a ship. So two of them came in my front room. They stood side by side, their back to the window, you know, like a soldier stand, standing guard at attention. And then when their ship, shift was over, another two came and they left. So I saw myself in the dream making phone calls, like, who are these people? Why are they here? Why are they in my house? When I look out the window, one was still in front and the people park up in the truck. So I said, okay, I shared it with one or two people. That was like a Sunday night. On um, Thursday morning, Thursday night, sorry, I was up late on the computer and then I ended up showering late. So I showered about two o'clock in the morning and I went to bed. So I had an appointment last week, Friday at 9.30. So I said, okay, I'm gonna get up, start work at 7.30 so I can leave at nine, go to my appointment, come back and then continue to work. Anyways, uh, I got up about six, went to the bathroom, said I was gonna shower and um, then I changed my mind. I said, sure, I shower at two o'clock this morning. I don't need to shower again. I just do a quick tidy. So I had my rag on the heating rail. My daughter's towel was on there. Her rag was there. My son socks and his towel. So when I took up the rag and I turned the tap on to pour the water in it, I saw a centipede in the middle of my rag. And the color of the centipede, real life centipede was red. So I straight away turned the water fast and it was a baby one and it, I flushed it down the sink. I got some disinfectant to chew it because I said I make sure it don't come back up. I, I got some salt, I threw it. So I wasn't thinking anything of it. And I said, but Jesus, can you imagine if I did go in the bath and say I'm going to shower and I put the rug on my skin, the centipede would have, would have been on my body and it would have probably bit me, yeah because they're gonna do what they do, you know? But because I already showered at two in the morning, um, you know, I, I, I didn't need to. So I was able to see the, 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 the thing that was sitting line waiting in my rug and where my rug was positioned on my radiator for it to bypass the children's towel, 
rag and socks on the radiator and found itself in the middle of my rag. I said, that is strange. I've never, you know, so I prayed and I left it at that. I really wasn't thinking anything. And the uh, Friday, I got a, a, a letter in the post and I, I, I'm going to be transparent. I panicked because it was, you know, I, I, I was seeking a second opinion about, you know, my fibroid situation and they did an MRI scan and uh, they sent me a letter now and the department that they wanted me to come for an appointment was, um, I was thinking, why well, they want me to go to this appointment, this department for my appointment. So I was trying to cancel the appointment to give me some more time. I called my insurance broker and I said, I realize my life insurance not in place, so let me renew that, you know? It's natural, we, we, we overthink, or we panic. So I did that, I didn't share it with anybody. So <laughs> on Sunday, I was invited to this barbecue and I went to the barbecue and, you know, we sat, we were on the table and, you know, there were other people there. And now I'm ready to leave one of the pastors there, I was hugging and saying bye. She just said, do you mind if, if I pray I pray with you for one minute? I said, sure, no problem. And I'm thinking, what do you, what you want to pray for me for? But I didn't refuse. So we went back out in the garden. I was surrounded by <laughs> four pastors praying for me. And we, I mean, they storm heaven, yeah? the storm heaven and they started to say to me because I didn't tell anybody I would you know panic and call my insurance broker because I wanted because you know those insurance people if any new development they don't want to cover you for it because they say you know, they're going to say it's a pre-existing condition the lady said to me stop thinking negatively or whatever and they started prophesying in my life and saying that whatever, you know, the negative word, whatever, and the, you know, certain stuff that the Lord say to me and about living and not dying and I shouldn't let the enemy play with my mind and put negative, whatever. And everything that was set for me from the plans of the enemy, they cancel it, they break it, they mash it up, they everything. You know what I mean? They step on it and everything. and uh they prayed for me they prayed for the, the five boys and they were able one of them was able to prophesy to me and said the lord said it is well you can go and remove it because i am with you you can take it out because i am with you not no arm shall come to you you shall live you shall this you. they were declaring the word of the lord over my life so i ended up having to share with them what transpired over the weekend. So I say that to say this, that it's just by accident. I, 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 in a way, I was there, but they were, God had people already in position. You understand me? So I know that my mom still pray for me to this day. So we shouldn't forsake coming together and praying for each other because we don't know what somebody is going to go through today. And I, God is no respecter of persons, but can use anybody. And when you're going through something, the, the weight and the burden of that thing is on you. You need your brothers and your sisters to carry you because you cannot all the time do it on your own by yourself. It is natural for you to panic. It is natural for you to think the worst. It is natural. I'm not saying that I wouldn't pray and, and remind God all the things, but right at that moment, when I went to my appointment, my appointment was literally the next day. So whatever the enemy had planned, it was already canceled. You know, the weight that came off me, I, I don't know if I can explain to you how I felt. When I went to the uh, appointment, I was skipping. I, I was so anxious to get there. I was early. And I was smiling in myself because you're going, you already know the end result from before. They even give you the report. 
you know, because I'm, you know, like in, in church sometime and you hear a word or something and they, they think like, they drop the mic, drop the mic. I, I mean, that's how I was feeling. I was ready because the words that was spoken to me brought life to me. It, it shifted me from that place of thinking and that negativity and that, that downward thinking and doubt and say, come on, shake up yourself, put yourself together. Do you really know who you are? You understand? Do you it, really know whose you are? You understand? Do you know the power that is actually within you? Yeah. When I went to my appointment, it was nothing. It was about 10, 15 minutes. I just wanted my consent. No um uh to just you know have a, a have a look a look to make sure everything is all right nothing to panic about and then i was able to ask the doctor um because my thing is i didn't want to do a hysterectomy so i said to the doctor based on where the fibroids is positioned can it be removed without and she said yeah sure and i was like so why did the hospital never you know i i i started this job this lady she's romanian She's a Christian and she was sharing her testimony of how hers was bigger than mine, but she did the operation in October and she telling me the best hospital, St. Mary's Paddington, that's where she went. They just used the robot keyhole and hers was removed. She was getting pains, you know, all the necessary part. Why this woman telling me all these things? Understand me? It was God. <laughs> It's just a little setup. It was God. So oh, I'm man. in the workplace and I'm like, God, why am I here? You know, like, who, who am I here for? Why am I here? Uh, you know, because sometimes like that, you know, I have to scan the place and say, you know, okay, why am I here? You know, who am I here for? But not knowing that this woman was ready to tell me, she told me how she was big. She always looked pregnant and you know, if you see the lady you now, she didn't share her testimony, you wouldn't have known that she went through what she went through. And she was in pain all the time. I'm not in no pain or anything. You understand? So I just want, I'm just sharing the awesomeness oh, and the power of God. We, we, we don't really, we can't really fathom too much. We can't fathom who, who we are and, and this God. We can only experience snippets of it at a time. So sometimes when we get this uh, worship experience and you see like those people were leading us in worship, they were leading us in the presence of God because the more we get in the presence of God, the more the weight and everything starts to fall off, fall off because it, it, it has no place in the presence of God. It, it cannot follow you in the presence of God. It, it, it can't stay there. With the presence of God, there's no weight. You understand? So I, I just wanted to share that because they were able to declare. That's why I wanted to share the song. Somebody prayed for me because I was like, Jesus, God, this was a setup meeting. We just come a barbecue. But they, this was a setup. And to show you that <laughs> the plans of the enemy was canceled, mm -hmm. I dreamt somebody the Sunday night. And the person was trying to come close to me in my dream. But the person couldn't come close to me. The person bent up in a pain. I had to be looking for the, you know, the deep heat gel to, to, to find it to give to the person because the person was bent up in pain. I dreamt that person the Sunday night, you know, and these people um prayed for me. And you know, because they have you have authority in with the Holy Spirit give you authority the holy spirit within you give you authority to come against the the, the wiles of the enemy to come against the plans of the enemy concerning you you know so what wherever that thing came from like i was sharing it with somebody they said um you know when uh ghosts are succumb then they normally <laughs> need to they return by four o'clock in the morning i want they get catch because they stay Till after six, <laughs> you know, somebody was just responding to me like that in a joke. But thank God for discernment. Thank God for being one step ahead of the plans of the enemy. You know, I don't know where that came from. It could be something gen uh, generational because, um, you know, the, the army could represent the angels of the Lord protecting. 
because they were changing guards. You know, we know of the angels ascending and descending on our behalf all the time. They ascending and descending on, uh, on our behalf, you know. Mm -hmm. But I want us to be able to recognize who we are and the God we serve. Like Amen. I said, all of us cannot contain the, the majesty and the, the, the glory of God. That's why Amen. all of us have to have our different style or a different expression or a different way of presenting or a different way of worship. It's all God. We are just seeing different versions and expressions of God through each and every one of us here. I saw a little clip with Daniel ministering that he shared on the chat. And straight away, his voice and everything, he just sounded like a John the Baptist to me. You know, he was out. <laughs> yeah, honestly, he sounded like John the Baptist ministering. And I hear everybody this week ministering and cheering. Like, let's just snip. We're all cheering snippets of this great God. Because I tell you, we say, if the Holy Spirit come upon you, it will quicken our mortal body. We cannot contain it all. One person cannot contain it all because God is majestic. He's big. He's awesome. He's, you know, like I said, I love uh, this thing. I found, I'm glad I'm not laughing right now, but I tell you, if you heard me, I was laughing so much because I found, because I was literally visualizing this dead man touching the bones of um, Elisha. Now God, God um, honored his prophet so much that even in his death, even though he died, the resurrection power of God, if you come in contact, you know, with this person here, because he did so much miracles when he was alive. But if you come in contact, it's, it's just a metaphor. It is just showing you really, it's a picture of who this great God is and how really how powerful he is. Because Elisha never really did anything. It was all God. So he said, though he were dead, yet you shall live. There is life in God. So I hope this morning you got something out of it. I hope you were able to. Is that me? <laughs> No, so she, I think she's frozen. Okay. You, yeah. you, you was frozen there, Heather. Oh, sorry. But, you know, sometimes, sometimes it's okay. Sometimes people will carry you, you know, and it's okay to be carried sometimes because you're not strong enough to sojourn this thing on your own. And sometimes the enemy will want you to, to isolate yourself and don't connect. But don't forsake the assembling together of brethren. Don't forsake this coming together in the morning and worshiping first thing in the morning. Say, early will I rise and seek you. Don't forget the coming together. Don't even take it lightly when somebody say, boy, my mind run on you this morning, you know, and I pray for you this morning because, you know, the Lord drop you in my spirit. Don't take it lightly. Don't take anyone on here lightly. Don't take the presence of the Lord lightly, okay? So I just wanted to share that with you. I don't know if I've got time. I see this time, 8.34. I have a little, it's only six minutes. And um, should I share that? Yes, go ahead. The moment, um, it's, it's, it's from a cartoon called Tangled. And it was a moment she, um, I don't know if Keith has it. If he hasn't got it, it's okay, we can. The moment she realized who she was. Can we play it for a, a bit? Uh, thank you. That was just a picture to the moment you realize who you are. You know, sometimes you get you can get caught up in a situation for so long. But one thing the enemy cannot fight you with is knowledge. Once you know you have the information about something or you get the revelation about who you are, 
he will not, I tell you, he will not come and try and fight you in that area again. Because you have the knowledge that, she had the knowledge that she's, you see how much strength she get this a while ago now? She <laughs> was able to fight the, 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 the wicked witch because she, she knew who she was. You know, she had so much, she, this woman was using her for our hair, the healing in our hair. Even when she cried, her tears had healing in them. And this woman was just sucking her dry and you, she was keeping this woman alive. This woman was already dead. She's a witch, yeah? And, but the moment she realized who she was, I tell you, there is a day of reckoning. There is a day of reckoning for each and every one of us. So we might be going through something, but it, I, I tell you, it, will, it cannot last for long. The only thing God didn't tell us is the time. He never gave us the date. I bet if he gave us the date and tell you that it's going to be um, 6.30 this evening, you all would be happy right now and singing and shouting and not a care in the world. But because we don't know the time, we don't know the day we have to work it out. So sometimes the stress of it can get to us. But when that day of reckoning come, yeah, like myself, you wouldn't believe I wasn't working for two years. The moment I get a job on the first day start, I can just about remember what those two years felt like. It's gone. No more, it's in the past. I'm in a new place now. So hope we can, don't miss our appointment. Don't miss the, the timing and the, cause you know, God deal with people, God deal with connections, God deal with timing. Timing is very important to God. He deals with timing, he deals with location, the position where you are at the time. You know, like I said before, I can't imagine how many appointments I've missed before. But even if I miss the appointment and he be for late, there is a day of reckoning where God say, uh -uh. I mean, it should be today at six o'clock and nothing in the world, nothing what the enemy do, no, no delay can stop it. That's how sure God is of his word over us. So can we be sure of the God we serve and sure of the power that is within us? and sure of the holy spirit the holy spirit shall guide us into what all truth yeah so when the holy spirit come upon you to even intercede and don't take it lightly brethren i just you know and i just i'm doing good with time so if uh keith wants to just uh, just another that song of worship and keith you know the other song if you want to play it you play it if you have time but I know I have to come off at 9.30. So I just want us to just have a little more time. The other song of worship, we can go into it. And then uh, after that, I'll hand back to you, uh, Pastor Grace. And thanks. And thank you, Brother Junior, for touching that 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 scripture because it really stirred me. It's still there. And I, I just thank you for even not knowing. <laughs> the Lord is good. You threw me, the Lord you threw me it. You didn't you had no idea, you know. Well, the, so Lord, the Lord did. <laughs> the Lord works in uh different, different ways because I didn't know I was gonna be sharing, but I tell you, brethren, the thing rested on me so much. The kids were asking, Mommy, you all right? I, I tell you, I laughed like somebody gave me a joke for days, for literally about four days. Because the more I thought about it the more I imagine it, I said, Jesus, peace, God, you're powerful, you're bad, you know, you're, you're really powerful to, you know, because this thing happened in real life and there's so many miracles that God has done and he hasn't stopped doing miracles. Amen. He hasn't stopped working miracles. So uh, don't get too comfortable in your situation and think that that is it. God doesn't stop working miracles at all. I mean, even more so in the last days that we're in now. You know, signs, wonders, and miracles is going to follow all of us, all of us on here. Nobody exempt. Yeah? yeah. Sign, wonders, Amen. and miracles. Thank so uh, be you, encouraged, you. saints, and be uplifted in your spirit. Oh, and, you know, you. as we continue to lift each other up in prayer on here, it, it, it's the mighty work that God is doing. And uh, Keith, uh, you could just flow in the next song. Sorry, Junior, you wanted to say uh, something? Yeah, yeah, quickly. Um, could you pray for our sister in India? She's joined us yesterday, amazingly, but okay. she, put a she put a request in there. 
So you're talking about, you know, praying for each other. Okay. I think we should demonstrate this by, uh, if you could pray for our sister in India, she said uh, her boss, she's in a bit of trouble. Her boss is not giving her, um, I, I can't remember the exact thing, but it says workman for workforce for doing the job. And okay. uh, she put on there, it's basically urgent. So if we could really pray for our okay, sister yes. in this um, light. I'll just pray and then you guys can, uh, Amen. You could, we could do that worship. And then uh, if you don't see me, I'll still be listening, but I probably won't be able to be on life. Father, we thank you this morning. Thank we you, thank Father. you for your presence that is yes, uh, with us, that is tangible with yes, us this Father. morning. We thank you, Lord God, because you are, there is no distance in a prayer. Yes, so Lord. even though our sister is in India, it's, it's, it's a walk in the park for you. It's it's nothing. No, yes, but we thank you for everyone on here. We thank yes, you for Lord. our sister in uh, India. We thank yes, you, Lord, Lord God, that even Hallelujah. though she's going through the uh, situation at work, whatever yes, pressure Lord. it brings, whatever the oppression, you know, oh God, the end from the beginning. Yes, you know yes, the end from the beginning, Lord God. So we ask you, Lord God, that if you have uh, predestined that she should be in that place or she should uh, be promoted or whatever the yes, is that is trying to come between her and her destiny, we yes, collectively together... Okay. In the name of you Jesus. said one can chase a thousand and two yes. can put ten thousand to flight. Even in mathematics, Lord God, that don't make sense. But yes. you know, we, it is more than two, it is more than three, it is more than ten of us on here. So we collectively yes, Lord, send thank the you, Spirit, Jesus. we send the Holy Spirit yes. to India yes, Lord. right now, in we send your angels Hallelujah. right now. To our sister, Lord God, so you can yes, work right on now. her behalf. In the name whatever of you said Jesus. concerning her life, then your whatever spirit, you said Lord. concerning Hallelujah. her destiny, yes. we in call the name it for now. Jesus. We call it to manifest. Rise up, God. Lord, that it has already be been established in, in the, the heavens. Name of Jesus. It's already been established in the yes, heavens. We Lord. ask you, Lord. You know, Lord you said we should Father. pray, Our Father, let thy kingdom come in, in heaven the name of as it is in her. Yes, Lord. What are you saying about our sister now in the heavens? In the, yes, what is Lord. The position right now, Lord God. Yes, Lord. The earth is supposed Speak. to line up with what you Speak, have said Lord. concerning our sister yes. in the heavens, Lord yes. God. So we ask you, Lord God, the situation that she should be a little bit more patient and persevere yes, through the we process, Lord God. We ask Long you, Lord suffering. God. We still send thank the Holy God. Spirit to her because she may yes. need the strength the right now, Lord God. Jesus. We surround yes. her, Lord God, God with your love. We surround be. her with the power Holy Spirit, Lord God, that you yes, will uh, uh, help her to maintain her position for her In not to be changed, for her not to be moved, for her yes. not to look at their faces and let fear overcome her because um, you know yes, she thinks Lord. it's gonna be the worst. We ask you, Lord, but to In send the her fullness to her right now, step so in, that Lord, she can in. even from her own mouth speak. Mm. And declare the word of life. God concerning yes. her, Lord God. So we In speak the life into Jesus. her situation. We speak life into her work situation. Whatever Jesus. you have ordained for her, in that yes, situation, Lord. Lord God, we call it done. We call it done in the name of, of, the, uh, 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 of the Lord because, Lord God, the thing is, you always win. You've never ever lost a battle. You oh, no, you win. haven't. So we know the report of the Lord. We've got too many testimonies, Lord God. So yes, we ask Lord. you, Lord God, if it's a position that needs for her to stand, send reinforcement to her, Lord God. So yes, that Lord, she has send your angels. Stand. And if it's Hallelujah. a situation, Lord God, that Somebody needs to move out of the way so that she can have a breakthrough. The Lord, yes, we Lord. move them out of the way right now for her yes, in the name Lord. of Jesus, Lord. Jesus. We come in like the bulldozer, Lord, oh, and Lord. we move in them the out of the way Jesus. right now Thank because you, they cannot stop the purpose and the plan the and the will the concerning your yes. daughter. We ask yes. you, Lord God, send your army. Send your angels, yes, Lord, Lord God, right now. Yes, Let Father. them go on on a shift basis, in the Lord name God. Of in Jesus. tools, in tools, Lord God. Send your in angels, the name Lord God. Of Jesus. You, you probably only need one angel. One angel was able to destroy a whole city yes. of 70,000 or more God. people, Lord God. We ask you to send reinforcement in to our sister, God. Lord God. And we ask you, Lord God, in the meantime, renew her mind. 
renew her yes, mind Lord. and renew yes, her Lord. spirit Thank so that yes. she understand that greater is strength, in me Lord, than he that is yes. in the world we have weak, the power Lord. within us Lord God help us it's not to let it lay dormant help us to utilize it help Nemo. us to be clear help us to open our mouth and speak because the power is it is within us Lord God back in the days in the old testament your, your glory the mantle it rested up, upon your servants Lord God we have the infilling of the Holy Spirit. That power is within us. Yes, we have grace and yes, yes we have measures. Yes. But the same resurrection power of Christ lives within us, Lord God. So you, is Father. there anything too hard for you to do, No, God? Lord. No. Oh, I am convinced. Nothing, I am fully Lord. persuaded that you are a mighty, 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 yes, mighty, Lord. mighty God. Hallelujah. God. And if there's anyone else on here that is going through anything this oh, morning on Jesus. this platform, we touch and agree. Turn the ship, oh, Lord. Know, but that they will Turn have the a ship, victory Lord. This the morning, whether Jesus. it's a, a situation concerning their health, whether it's, oh. whether it's a situation concerning work, whatever the situation is, Lord God, we agree Lord. with them this morning that nothing shall nothing harm them, separate. nothing yes. shall harm them, and nothing shall come against the will yeah. and the purpose yeah. nothing, and the work and the plan nothing, that God nothing. has in store for us, Lord God. God and Lord God, we lift our hearts before you. I, we no, give no, you Father. the honor this morning. We yes, give Lord. you the glory. We give yes, you the praise, oh, Lord God. You said that they that worship you. you, Lord God, yeah. must. Yes, it's Lord. a prerequisite that we must worship yes, you in Lord. spirit and in yeah. truth, Lord God. You said before the foundation of the earth, you knew us. You knew Hallelujah. who we are. You know what we're capable of doing. You know what you called us Hallelujah. to do, Lord God, before Lord, the foundation of the earth, Lord God. So we come against every negative yes, thought. Lord. We come worship against every Lord. negative way that will try to tell us otherwise. That yes. will try to tell us we are less than. We are more than conquerors in Christ Jesus. We thank you, Lord God, for restraining us. We thank you, Lord God. For trusting us, we thank you, Lord God, for imparting uh, a bit of you in us, yes. Lord God. Uh, yes, we Lord. are great Impart, because Lord. you are great. We are mighty Hallelujah. because you are mighty. Lord yes, God, Lord. We have the same resurrection power because you did it, Lord God. You want Lord. us to replicate Overcome you, Lord God. Grave. Let us replicate Hallelujah. you, Jesus. Let when people see us, Lord God, they see the God in us. Lord they will God, see you. Yes, Lord. They went somewhere, Lord God. Uh, they were going to a meeting and there Thank was you. a man at the door begging. He, he thought he needed money. And they were mm -hmm. able to look at him and see that this man don't need money. Hallelujah. This man need more than money. And they were yes. able to say, silver and gold have I not, but mm. such as I have. What do I we give have? To you. What do the we Holy have Spirit. this morning? Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit. Thank what you, Lord. I have, I give <laughs> unto you. Yes, and in the name of Jesus, in the name rise of and walk Jesus. from your Hallelujah. dead situation. What have Every we got this situation. morning that money in the cannot name buy? Of Jesus. What have we got this morning, Lord, that, that nothing that the enemy throws can come against yes. it? We have the Holy Spirit this morning. Yes. Help us, Lord, not to take what we have politely. Thank Help you, us not, not to put ourselves down or at the back bench and think that yes, we are not. We are mighty through God. You said, Lord Hallelujah. God, if you can speak, if you can manifest your glory mm -hmm. through a dead man, Hallelujah. what say us to our alive and well? Oh, thank we thank you. you, Lord God, for the thank revelation you, of your word. We thank you, Lord, for your the scripture. We thank, thank you, Lord, for that no matter how many times we read the scripture, Lord. there is a fresh revelation from fresh it. Word. There is a fresh word. You have a fresh word every morning for us. Every thank day is a fresh you, dew. Lord. It's a fresh dew. Lord, God, help us to not be on the back on behind oh. anymore because of doubt and because of fear. Doubt and fear is not of the Lord. Thank so we Jesus. come against the spirit of doubt and we come against the spirit of fear. We say, go and take a back seat down there, sir, because we are Amen. mighty to Amen. God. We are mighty. You said, Lord God, we yes, wrestle we are. Us against flesh and blood, us against principalities, and against Dog the rulers of darkness, yes. against wickedness in high places. Half the yes. time, we cannot see the wickedness in high places. So every now and again, we need to come for a refreshing. We need to come into your presence 
for yes. a recession because we cannot see all that the enemy is doing, yes. all the traps that he has. But God, we thank you, you are one step ahead, one step ahead all the Hallelujah. time of the thank enemy. You, we thank, thank you, Lord Jesus, for your thank awesomeness God. this morning. We thank you, Lord God, that we speak life this morning over every life, dead Lord. situation. Yes. We speak life this morning over every situation on this platform, spoken and unspoken. Maybe yes, they might Lord. share it with their friends and they don't share it with somebody else. It is all right because you are all knowing and you are all seeing. So even if you don't share it with anyone, but you know, and you, you're in your house and you're crippled up and you're worried, come out of that place right now because yes. God is with you. God is with you. And we stand together with you. You don't have to suffer alone because God has connected us for a purpose. God thank has connected you. us for a purpose. And enemies sometimes you, want to isolate us and let us uh, go into our corner and worry and fear and worry and doubt. It is a weight. And we don't want it anymore. Yes. We don't uh, need to carry that yeah. around with us. So we thank you for yeah. your elevation yeah. this morning. Yeah. We thank you for your Holy Spirit, Lord. Yeah. And oh, as we yeah. trust yeah. what you're going to do, oh, and as we you. stand in confidence, knowing that. what you're able to do, That's Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, for your word this morning. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Oh, amen. amen. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, my God. Oh, glory to Thank you, Heather. Thank you. Thank you, Heather. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Thank you, Heather. Absolutely amazing, wonderful. God has spoken in so many different ways to, to us this morning. So many different things that you shared. The Holy Spirit would have resonated with each and every one of us in a different way. Yeah. But, you know, what really resonated with me is the fact that, you know, um, sometimes God will surprise us. <laughs> God will surprise yes, us and uh, like you just turned up at that barbecue and uh, there it was God I already knew you was panicked long before yes. you yes. long before you got there God knew you was panicked and yes. God already had somebody more than one person to stand yes. and agree with you and rebuke Amen. that spirit of fear that was trying to get on you yes you know, when you you know sometimes we we we, we think and uh, and I'm our minds start to overthink and uh but god already was one step ahead and he's always yes. one step ahead and yes. he's always you know he's always counteracting the plans of the enemy and uh, like you said the plans of the enemy was cancelled amen because when amen. you went to that appointment it wasn't nothing trepidating nothing to worry about nothing that was the fear was just trying to grip you Amen. But, you know, God Amen. has ordered your steps, Heather, and he's Amen. given you so much um, insight into even to the job that you're at now. God has ordained that job. God has chosen, handpicked that job for you. Amen. And, and to meet somebody in that house, in that on that job that Amen. was able to, um, you would say, no, why am I here? Why am I here? God knows why you are here. Amen. Amen. There that's got the right information that you need. Amen. And was able to share that information about even the, your health issues. God is concerned about every single detail. And you know, even when we can't carry ourselves, God will use somebody to carry us. Just like you Amen. said, Amen. You know, God will use somebody to carry us in our, when, we're, when we can't even carry ourselves. But we have more than the number on here. As you said, we're more than the two or three. The Bible only talks about two or three are gathered, but we are more than the number. So we yes. know that when we come together, we pray much power is made available. And Father, we thank you for the access that we have to the throne room of grace that we can, we can decree what is in heaven be manifested here down on earth. Amen. So we thank God for um, you, Heather, and uh, uh, I just know that we um, everybody has received from this word this morning. This is a Holy Spirit word of encouragement.
Hello. Praise the Lord. Hello. Uh, your mute is Sister Grace. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I, I, you must have missed everything what I said. I said um, before Heather leaves, um, um, I would like somebody just to pray for Heather and um, um, and uh, just uh, pray God's strength over her life. She has spoken so many nuggets this morning, so many revelations, so many insights, so many things that she shared from the scripture um what god has god is doing and uh and what god is even if we feel the dry like we might be you know <laughs> our bones might be dry like the ones in the the valley of the of the of the um dry bones that we can speak life to our situation and they will come back to life and uh be restored god is in the in the business of restoring and healing and delivering and uh, we, God is in, in, wants to surprise us even more than we, more, more than we know. And uh, we just need to just be, have our eyes open and be expectant. So I want somebody to just pray for Heather before she leaves. She's got to leave now to get ready for um, work. But I just want to thank God for this word and pray God's strength upon her and that she will continue to have insight, continue to have revelation. God, that God will continue to give her the signs and the wonders because we are, this is the, this is the, this is the time of signs, wonders. This is the, these are the days when God said he will pour out his spirit upon all flesh. And I thank God for the, that we have been poured into daily. And uh, I just want somebody to just unmute and pray for Heather just before she she leaves and uh, that I know that God she's ministered to us and that God will just minister back to her and restore amen. her. Amen. Yeah, who um so anybody that feels led to uh, just pray uh for Heather right now. Thank you. Heavenly Father, Lord God above, we thank you for today's blessing of a lesson that you have graced our sister Heather with that she shared. She imparted, she impacted, she spoke valiantly. She even prayed how we should pray. Lord, I pray for her, Lord, that we and she will be able to go from strength to strength. But Lord, in this day, regardless of what may try to surface, let it not even stand even a test of time or even ability to stand against her. That, Like she smiled and laughed when she heard us a, a scripture. Lord, do the same for when the enemy tries to show its ugly head. And she will have the ability to supersede and just say, look, I know who I am. I know who God is in me. And I know who God is. I thank you, Lord, for the message through her. I thank you, Lord, for the, the impact that it's going to leave, not just those that are on the platform, but those who will listen to the recording later that may need that very injection, that very positioning, that very um, fruit that she has left us with. I pray, oh God, that she will go from leaps and bounds, that this is just the beginning of what you're going to do in your life at the beginning of what's going to start out Lord we look forward to the next we look forward to what you're going to show we look forward to see your glory through her we look forward to the signs and wonders that are going not just for our sister Heather but every single person that we are a collective who stands for you Lord God I pray Lord God that you will keep her honor her bless her in her going out or in her time when she's at work and when she comes in that every Every person that is in her household will also be blessed, just like the bones of Elisha, that he will be, they will be blessed in means and ways that they've never realized that even in entering on the door, answering the phone to a call, even in a text message that they will receive, that there will be a blessing that supersedes human intelligence, human naturality. I pray, Lord God, that she'll be the conduit of more blessings, more lessons, more revelations, more understanding, more brain downs of scripture i thank you lord for what you have started i thank you lord for what you have shown and i thank you lord for what's to come i pray lord god that there will be nothing that will stand in us dear sister heaven's way no circumstances no tribulation no trial no health lord you have already solved every single circumstance 
that sickness will not before her. Thank you, Lord, for keeping her from the centipede, Lord, because many of us don't realize how many versions of centipedes are. So when one person sees red, another person sees another. But Lord, thank you for keeping her away from harm, that nothing will harm her for that angel that you encamped, that you gave her instruction of what to do. And she flushed it. She put salt so it wouldn't return. Lord, I pray that you will keep her from any hindrance, any um, like successor of the enemy. Keep her free from the enemy's camp in all that she does. I pray that her day will be blessed, that all the work that she does will be solved in this day. In the name of Jesus, go through our sister. I plead the blood over her life and her family's life. I plead the, the, the author and the illustrator of every single thing that you you have started in her will manifest before her very eyes that when she speaks a thing it will come to pass no matter what whether it's for her or for others I pray Lord God that manifestation and development will increase in and around her what you have started God you are mighty enough to finish that we will work together and walk together that Lord this is an illustration of how we can be an illustration of what we can and what we have Lord, the greater inside of heaven, Lord, I pray, will show itself all the more from day to day. It will increase in levels that humans can't fathom. But Lord, if we can only illustrate that it's the tangibility and the wonder working power and love of God. And we thank you, Lord. Bless her from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet. Let nothing come in her way. We plead the blood over her life and her family's life, her household, her work with every single person, even the other sister who's a Christian herself. We plead the blood over her pains and all the restrictions, all the things and the limitations. We break down everything that the enemy is trying to implant. That you know what, Lord? Just what came to my revelation right now, that in um, our dear sister's meeting, she will see and pray for the individual and there will be changes that will happen for their life this very day I proclaim it Lord because if Ezekiel's body his dead bones could still breathe life imagine what we can just do by just speaking a thing while we are living Lord, I pray that this person, this Romanian lady who believes in you, will see the majesticness and power of you, oh God, living and breathing through her life. That anything that may be coming against her to try to bring her down will be brought to nothing. We sever it, we claim it, and we send it back to where it comes from. We take her back and her body back, her temple back from the enemy camp. And we bless her in, in because of you, because we believe in you and the faith that we have will orchestrate mountains to be removed this mountain will be removed out of the dear lady's life in jesus name we pray amen 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 uh, amen thank you god the king amen. amen 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 wow what a wonderful time we've had again as I said, God never disappoints. He has just been feeding us. This is, we're on hard food now. We're not on milk anymore. We're on hard food. <laughs> we're, <laughs> we're on solids. <laughs> Glory to Amen. God. Amen. Hallelujah. Daniel, I can see your hand is up. My sister, my sister hey. wanted to say something actually. Yeah. Let, let Jay she tried to say something for a little while, but I don't know if she could have a go before Daniel. That's all right. Sorry, who was that? The, our sister from India. I can't pronounce her name. I think it's Smith, oh, Smith Smitha. Samita. Oh. Yeah. Samita. Yeah. Samita. Samita. Hi. Sorry, Daniel. <laughs> morning. Praise the Lord. Amen. Good morning. Yeah, praise God. Good morning. Thanks a lot for the wonderful time and the prayer. Amen. Uh, it's required as a daily bread. I thank God. So please continue to pray for my life and my testimony. Actually, sometimes uh, because of the work pressure and the stress, uh, we, we don't know how to speak to others and we lose our temper. So please pray that uh, as the Lord was so humble, we can uh, humble ourselves every day. So Amen. That's my prayer request. We should be humble. And I'm really, I'm very blessed. I shared the 
things uh, with my husband yesterday night that uh, i got people from uk and i really i i was privileged to have such people who is re really they love god like anything so i praise god for you all amen i really i appreciate the initiative you all took and it's good like prayer is the with uh, pray without ceasing as scripture amen. says i thank god amen we should connect uh, the the matter like i used i never used to pray uh, uh, in the bus and and when i travel but uh, i have one one of my partner prayer partner she is from india only so she is my mentor so she said smita you just pray uh, you just uh, talk to god this is the time when we when we pray we talk to god and it's uh, it's like always uh, we will get fruit so prayer is the part of like a spiritual life it's a big part so reading the bible i believe it's good but the prayer is very important same Amen. thing thanks a lot i really i really i like this group i love you all thank you god bless you we love you too love you too we <laughs> love you too praise god amen yeah. wow. see uh, i yesterday i call um, like two three uh, aunties and i can call them auntie because they are very senior uh, i i used to i was calling them a sister without seeing them when but when i call them that they are just like my mother age so i call them auntie so i really i thank god for them also <laughs> so i got this family members i really i appreciate i i thank god i thank god for zoom this platform is like really because of covid we people come to know about this uh, application this <laughs> app so when <laughs> in disaster in uh, in like uh, in a very bad time god blessed in such a way that like we can thank god amen <laughs> yeah uh, when hey. i i believe that when we are less then we are blessed actually hey. so come on come on jesus <laughs> yeah <laughs> I thank God. I really I thank God. Yeah, it's a sweet fellowship. Like as a Jesus, He's uh, honey in the rock. So like His fellowship also is just like a honey in the rock. Hey! I really thank God. Yes. Hey! This one is serious. Oh. <laughs> I really, I, I, I said I told my husband that I really am liking this group, and one day I believe that we will we are going to meet soon. Amen. In India or in you, whenever God, if we are not meeting here in this earth, but we we have that hope that we will meet in the heaven, Amen. the place Amen. where we will gather Amen. in different place, different part of this world, we will gather and we will worship the Lord Amen. in the presence of the Lord, in front of His face, we will worship Him hey. in different <laughs> language. Where that that will that the day will come, we will speak only one language. No yes. English, no Hindi, Amen. no other language, but we'll speak the heavenly language only. Hey. Oh, so you get me excited now. You get oh, me excited. Man. Yes, <laughs> we are. I'm very excited because uh, before when I was like not working, when we when we when I was not in the Lord, I I wasn't like lacking. Like I don't have this thing, that thing. But now I believe that I am. I have everything because in the Lord hey. we have everything. so it's a privilege to be a child of the god so that we can proclaim that i have this this rights and this authority like that the sister was speaking that the power we can also work as as jesus work through holy holy spirit amen so if we believe if we recognize ourselves that who we are we can do everything in who strengthened us So Amen. I thank God. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. praise God. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. Yes. Hey. Oh, come on, come on, come Glory. on, come <laughs> on. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Amen. Amen. Oh, pray. Amen. Please pray that one day, one day I share my thought also, because in weekdays is it's not possible to share because it's my office time. Now it's two o'clock here in India. 
but uh, when i uh, i will be in leave i can share so i really i i want to join Amen. for sharing my thoughts let us know let us know let us know sister you come on let us know your schedule <laughs> Amen. Amen. just just let us know when you got your leave or, and uh, you know we we look forward to that we really do Amen. yeah sure sure why not yeah. please Amen. pray for this matter without praying we can't uh, do his work because we should take approval for him only because he is our boss he is our father he is everything for us oh yes <laughs> we all are brother and sister in christ we oh, we can't yes. see ages we can't oh, see yeah. who is older who is younger but we are brother and sister in the lord because we have our father <laughs> that's it that's it that's it that's so. it that's it So we can yesterday i saw the post that uh, 55 plus age who they can join that fellowship uh, but in this group we are open to join in every ages because <laughs> we are brother and sister amen <laughs> please pray please pray that i can speak a uh, good english because uh, my english is not so good it's brilliant oh, my my english is great it's fantastic so that i may speak well. good. i i was i was like it's my testimony i was searching for a classes where i can speak uh, i can take classes for spoken english classes but uh, god shows me this group he asked me to speak with people who speak english that can i can learn in this way So I praise God. God save my money. <laughs> <laughs> Miracle working Amen. God. Amen. Oh, wow. What a testimony. Yeah. Glory. So I Glory to so God. I love I love to talk with you all every day. Please give me 30 minutes <laughs> so that I can speak good English. <laughs> well done. Hey. And in, and and I can I can't pay fee. So I I will treat you when you come to India. So I will give all my house to serve you Amen. people. Okay. Amen. You have, you have you have to teach us a bit of your language as well. Don't worry, we we'll learn too. <laughs> yes. Oh. Amen. Thank okay. you. Okay. Then Thank I have to God. leave now. Bye, guys. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. God bless you. Bye. 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 Wow. 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 I'm telling you we never know when God is going to visit and who is going to come we have to present ourselves and be ready at all times or oh that's hey, it, that's it, that's it. Wow. that's right that's right that's right yeah we for English from here this in the right place Yes, yes. <laughs> yes, you get to learn lots of English. Lots of English <laughs> and she doesn't have to pay. <laughs> just pick up the words and just uh, um perfect her English. Uh, English is very good actually. It's very good yeah. already. Yeah. So it's it's got to improve even more being here. So we thank God for what God is doing, the way how he orders our steps. The way how he orchestrate things, the way how he He, he he lets our paths cross, you know. We thank God for what He's doing. And did you hear what she said? If it hadn't been for um, COVID, we wouldn't even know about Zoom. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we wouldn't even know about Zoom. But all things work together. Key slavery for good. Amen. All Amen. things work Amen. together for good. Amen. It's working out for your good. Everything Amen. is working out for your good. As long as you love God. It's going to work out for your good. Amen. And it's God is turning around. God is turning around every situation to work out for our good. It's for your good folks. It's for your good. Another one. Oh, bless you. Scriptures. Bless you. Amen. Another one of my favorite scriptures is when Jesus said that we'll be doing greater things than he did in his time. Imagine what Jesus had to do. He would have to hop on a donkey. He would have to walk by the side of a donkey to get from UK to India. But yeah. now he can be everywhere. <laughs> Man, that is so time. true. The greater things. This is not. We, I can't raise a person from the dead, but Christ through me can. But there will be the same thing that Jesus did. 
But us doing what we're doing right now, sharing scripture, even sending a WhatsApp text message across yeah. the world in seconds, they receive it. You can even see wow. the receipt of it beforehand. It used to you send a dove, and you don't know whether a bird come lick it off. You don't know. This is where the bird comes alive. Oh. Yes, I yeah, love the comprehension. Yeah, knowledge yeah. has increased. Yeah. Knowledge has increased. Jesus never had internet. True. Jesus Ooh. never had Zoom. You know, <laughs> he was... you know what the most hilarious thing is? You know what the most hilarious thing is? You know what when you're hearing the word of God? says that um, uh, all the words are here of the gospel and it's not in. The internet is bringing the word everywhere. So don't believe you got very long. <laughs> Because everyone will hear the word of God. It, trust me, you will bring it to the remote places Amen. and you will never fix it. When the God says that uh, everyone shall hear the word before you come, you might think, oh, someone has to physically go. Listen, the word will be there because of this internet. Amen. Yes, World Wide Web. World Wide Web. Wonder what Revel mm. Yeah, revelation, revelation. And there's no distance. Yes. Can you imagine you just click a link? And you're in India. <laughs> yes, <Just man>. get... <laughs> I, I had to full screen it. I had to full screen because when I was oh looking my... in the background and I was like, oh, I'm starting to get a bit hot. What's going on? But yeah, man, this is amazing. Wow. Yes, yes. We can just click a link. You do, you, we don't have to hop on a plane. Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> no passport. Click a, link. <laughs> click a link and we're in Pakistan. Hey. <laughs> Amen. Click another link and we're in Jamaica. <laughs> no pass. Kenya. <laughs> Hallelujah. We don't even have to pack. We don't even have to pack our bags. We just oh. get on board. We're a part of the it. World Wide Web. Yes. <laughs> I didn't need my passport. Why did I buy this for? No passport, <laughs> no passport needed. <laughs> just click a link. And you're across the world, across the waters. Amen. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Awesome. Oh. And we've got Ke we've got Dorcas on here. She's Amen. she's just click clicked a link from Kenya. <laughs> yes. Amen. <laughs> hey. Wow. Powerful. Yes, powerful. Powerful, powerful. Awesome God. Wow. Awesome God. Oh my god. Sorry, sorry, Daniel. We take up all your time. That, that <laughs> <is gonna be. laughs> Sorry, we got a bit excited. We got a bit excited. We can just, we don't even have to pack our bags. We don't need no passport. We don't need no suitcase. <laughs> we can just be in another part of the world. Uh, awesome. Awesome. Go ahead, Daniel. <laughs> hey, it's hot in here. <laughs> Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost fire. You know, Jesus. Daniel, the consuming, well. consuming fire. Jesus, the consuming fire. Amen. Thank God for the blessed woman of God from India. You know, we we'll pray for her marriage. You know, her marriage uh, to stay intact. You know, to stay with the Lord Jesus Christ. Proverbs chapter thirty-one, verse ten: Who can find a virtuous wife for her worth is far more than rubies. Um, you know, what I was going to say was actually totally off subject. Actually, I don't know if I should say it, but maybe the Holy Spirit. I don't know. Yeah, I'll say it. I'll say it. You know. It's funny when people dream about you. You know, I like when people dream about me, especially if it's a good dream, you know. And this uh, sister in Christ, she had a dream about me the other day, right? She dreamt that. <laughs> hey, she dreamt that I bought, her, I bought her some bread, right? That was the dream. I just got her some bread. So I made her dreams come true. And I bought her the best bread in London, you know, the other day. So I give God all the glory. You know, Amen. <laughs> that's a testimony, you know, glory to God. Amen. Don't underestimate dreams. Let me tell you, don't underestimate dreams. God the talks to life. us. Yeah, yeah God life. talks to us through dreams. Yeah. And I just want to say one thing before we close. Um, that cartoon, I don't know if Heather can still hear us, but that cartoon really opened my eyes. That, that cartoon that she shared about that 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 princess she didn't even know she was a princess she had no idea because she was she wasn't brought up by her real mom she was being brought up by a witch and, and the witch was telling her everything turns to darkness but when she looked into the sky and God opened her eyes and she saw the glorious light and she saw who she was 
You know, that's how God reveals to us revelation of who we are. And I tell you, we never look back once we know the devil don't want us to know who we are, but we are kings and queens. And uh, it's, God, the devil doesn't want us to know. He wants to keep us trapped. But when you, when you get that revelation, you can break free and you can just gain strength. And you can see that she didn't want to be in a dungeon anymore. She wanted to be let out because now she knows she's, a, she's royalty. She's the king and priest of God. And that's what we are. We are kings and queens and we are princesses. We are royalty. We are his, his royal priesthood. And uh, I just wanted to say that te- that that cartoon really did minister to me. I know it's a cartoon, but it really did minister to me. So thank you, Heather, for sharing that. She she was too big for the small <laughs> space. That's beautiful. Yes, beautiful, beautiful. Um, queen J, she knows she's a queen. She's got a hand up. Go ahead, Queen J. Good morning, kings and queen. How are you all? Just a quick testimony, okay? Um, about, say, six weeks ago, I was talking to a friend and I was saying, you know what, I want a jacuzzi bar, right? And she was saying, so how much they cost the jacuzzi bar? So I said about, about two grand. The one I want has got to be black, it's got to have the lights, it's got to have all the, all the effects in the bathroom. So I said, I saw it for about two grand. So I said to her, I'm going to start a GoFundMe page for my birthday. So if anybody wants to buy me a present for my birthday, give me the money, it goes towards my jacuzzi. So I said to her, anyway, about, say, three weeks after that, I was in my back room clearing out um, a cupboard. No, I wasn't clearing out. I went in to get some toilet paper in the cupboard. And when I looked down in this cupboard, there was a big box on the floor. And it said, Babylist, bubble, jet spa. I thought, huh? So I took this box out, new, open it, and in there is a, a mat, a motor, a long hose, and some foot massage rollers. So I thought, oh my God, it's my mum. My mum my mom passed away 2011, okay? And when we put that our house, Obviously, I took that and I just put it in the cupboard. My mum's died 20, and I thought she bought it about 10 years before that, before she passed away. Because she used to work in all this, so she did get a lot of discount in all this. But I think she bought it in all this day and didn't use it. So anyway, I brought it out. I thought, I'm excited now. I said, I've got, I've, got, I've got a jacuzzi, I've got a jacuzzi. So I put it up, I put it all together and I put it on. It didn't work. I thought, damn. So I tried the fuse, it didn't work. I tried the remote control, put batteries in it, still didn't work. I said, oh, it's not working. So I went onto the internet and I was looking for Babylis's um, um, jet spray, but they didn't have it. They don't, Babylis don't do it no more. They do curling tongs and hair dryers and all that stuff. They don't do the, the, the spa. But what? who does it now is something called Con Air. And they are in America. So I'm looking for a motor to buy. Couldn't find a motor. Anyway, last week, Saturday, the fuse in my house went. I had no hot water and I had no heating. Well, I didn't mind because it wasn't cold anyway. So I rang the council and they said they would send somebody out on Saturday morning to try and stay in the house until about one o'clock, two o'clock. I had to leave. When I left, I got a phone call from the... um. The actress guy said, he's at my door, where are you? I said, oh, I've left. He says, well, I'm here now. You're going to have to rebook it. I thought, okay, they're fine. So he went. So Sunday morning, I, I, I rang them, um, the council, and we booked it for, for Sunday. So he said, any time for 24 hours. Anyway, did my church service and everything. And about, three, about half past three, the door knocked, and it was him. And I said, Lord, I said, boy, this tall, chocolate-looking, handsome, a, a, a god. He was a god. He was fine. Anyway, he comes in. <laughs> sorry. And I'm looking at him. I said, oh, he's got some lovely legs. He had on a pair of shorts. He looked absolutely wonderful, but he was too young for me. 
So anyway, he fixed the um, boil and everything. When he finished, he was going. He said, okay, bye-bye. He came out the door, and I remembered my um, I remembered the machine. So I opened the door, I said, oh, Nathan, can you come here a minute, please? He come back in. I said to him, I've got this machine here, and it could be a bubble, a jet bubble um, thing, but it's not working. Can you test the um, fuse? So they test the fuse. He said, oh, the fuse is okay, he said. And oh. And next to my head, it started to work. And he said, there you are, it's working. I said, I hugged him. I said, thank you, thank you, thank you. He left, as he left the door, I went upstairs, I hook it up onto the wall, I'm making holes in the wall, you know, drilling holes in the wall. I ain't got no drill, but I'm making holes in the wall. I've got the, the, the motor up on the wall, I put the holes in, I put the mat in the bath, I put the hot water in, I put oil in it, and everything. I hit boom. I said, Lord, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. I said, thank you, Jesus, it's working. And I said, thank you, Mum, because Mum had it in the cupboard for years. I said, Lord, you're so wonderful. I love you, I love you. But I didn't have to spend nothing for my jacuzzi. <laughs> Amen. Thank you. Hallelujah. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you I don't know if you realize how powerful that testimony is. She saved two thousand pounds. She saved two thousand pounds and it was already in her house. Amen. It was in her house. And I, I mean, what is the chances of a fuse going and an electrician coming to fix the fuse? that can also fix her jacuzzi at the same time. Yeah. Glory be to God. God is awesome. <laughs> Fantastic. Glory to God. I'm I'm heavy. Every night I go in it for 20 minutes, line the bath in line and I said, yes, Lord, yes, Lord, this is heaven. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, powerful. Thank you so much for sharing that. That is, that's how God works. He, uh, He's concerned about the detail. I'm telling you, he, he, he doesn't he doesn't miss anything. He's concerned about a fuse box, a fuse, anything. He'll he'll know just how to get that thing working, and uh, at no expense. And that was the best part as well. At no expense, you save two thousand pounds, and you're you're enjoying the luxury. Um, but and that is the God's goodness and uh, blessing just pouring out on you. So thank you, Queen Jay, for sharing that. Um, Rachel, you've got your hand up. God bless you, Rachel. Good morning, what I got from Heather's devotional. Well, first of all, I've got a note down here that Daniel spoke and gave me a word and I grabbed it with both hands. My, this is God speaking. God's grace is sufficient for Rachel. Amen. It's in weakness of Ray, Rachel's brokenness and Rachel's weakness that God's grace shines and sustains Rachel. That was Daniel's word to me this morning. And then Heather spoke on 2 Kings 13, 21. I've titled it, Be Revived. Elisha done exploits with anointing still trapped in his body. And the power is for uh, to revive dead bones to bones come alive. A dead bone touching a dead bone comes alive. She used three, three verses. John 14, 12. Jesus in, invites us to as believers of his word to display the power in our power through the spirit in our vessels to come alive and do bigger, bigger exploits than he did when he was on earth. Romans 8, 11, Jesus' power can't achieve in the broken body and revive it to wholeness. John 4, 24. Now, this is the word I think I saw this differently. She used John 4, 24. We worship in truth and spirit. And she had us all worshiping in worshiping in truth and spirit. Now, I, I for some reason I wrote the word worship without the H in it. Worship God's word in our ship. Our ship is the vessel of the human each one of our ship. So we are carrying God's 
words in our ship and we worship. And Daniel's dream, there is a verse in the Bible somewhere, cast your bread on many waters, it will be re returned. Cast your bread, bread can be a testimony going into many waters because England and India is separated by water traveling. So I don't know if that means anything to you. I'm not, but I know that that was jumped out. That means cast your bread on many waters, it will be returned to you. That's it. Wow, Rachel, wow. All the nuggets are there. All the nuggets, all the scriptures. You, uh, you received so much. God bless you. And uh, Daniel, receive that word. When you cast your bread upon the waters, it will return to you many days. It will come back to you. The blessings are coming back to you because of your faithfulness. Blessings are coming to you, back, returning back to you. Amen. Receive that word. Receive that word. Oh, God bless you, everyone. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe it's the weekend already. We're going to be played out. We've got our Saturday clinic tomorrow starting at 8 um, to 10, 10 a.m. And uh, we're going to just be more specific about our prayer needs and uh, do um, join. But right now, we're going to be played out. And we're going to be ministered to in song. And I just want you to just know that you have been blessed again. You've been fed and watered. <laughs> yeah, glory to God. Go ahead, Keith.